What's up guys, today is August 3rd and as you may notice by this video, uh, polling is now showing Trump at a approval rating of 50 or uh, 51% uh, depending on uh, the exact time of the approval rating and uh, this is Rasmussen polling. So Trump has been really far down during a lot of June, July and even May. He has been as far down as uh, 42% but he is now back up at 51% uh, uh, actually. So. Uh, the reason this is uh, significant is because there has been talking talk about a small uh, rebound uh, from Trump. And of course here here is compared with Obama, which is not the most important metric. But it is uh, okay because Obama also, he won re-election. And uh, looking at the green, which is Trump, and blue uh, arrows through the uh, years and months, it looks like uh, Trump also has a quite good chance to win. People are saying that Rasmussen is a right-wing poll, but uh, they are also known as being quite accurate. And uh, I would definitely give uh, Rasmussen more uh, credibility than Morning Consult. This is why I don't trust Morning Cons Consult right here. Uh, if you look at this map, you would think that Trump had a much better chance at winning Virginia and uh, Minnesota than uh, uh, Michigan or Wisconsin. And uh, you would uh, believe that he is completely hated in uh, New Hampshire. But uh, that he, on the other hand, has a quite, actually, very, very good chance at winning like, Pennsylvania or or Florida here would, would be far above water. But they have not done anything since uh, February because of the virus. So I guess they're taking a break from their uh, usual scheduled uh, polling. But this certainly is a good sign for President Trump. So I understand why he uh, uh, tweeted about it and posted posted it on Instagram. But Trump's approval is not the only thing that is uh, deserving attention these days. Uh, one thing is that Biden, while he has not yet chosen his VP, his running mate, it is probably going to happen within a week unless it is postponed again. And uh, I guess a lot of people were disappointed that it was postponed in the first place because, of course, it is one of the biggest questions in these days is who the hell is going to be the Democratic vice presidential nominee. Uh, also... Uh, there is going to be tomorrow a primary in Kansas in uh, the 2020 presidential and uh, no, Senate election in Kansas. And the big uh, GOP frontrunners for the Senate seat are Roger Marshall, which is the uh, US House of Representative uh, representative for the first district, which is the biggest district in Kansas, and Chris Kobach, which of course uh, uh, lost the governor's election two years ago. And... Uh, there is a big difference between these two. Yes, Kobach has really been favored in the polls, so uh, he might be a bit favored, a favorite to win this uh, nomination as well. But if Roger Marshall is the nominee, this is what happens to the Kansas Senate race. Boom. Red. The door is closed for the Democrats. With Kobach, I suppose it stays uh, leaning. And uh, that is quite significant, because uh, it's a door that closes. Yes, the Democrats have other other opportunities to reach their uh, 50 or 51 seat majority in the Senate. But uh, to be honest, uh, Montana, it's not going to happen. Trump won that state by 20 points. So even though the Bullock and Danes might be tied in uh, polling, when the vast majority of people in Montana go to the ballot box and vote for Trump, they're not going to have Bullock as their first choice. They're going to vote for Danes in the Senate elections, most of them. So it's definitely going to be closer than a presidential race, but it's still going to go to the GOP. And that's how easy. And uh, something that is also quite mysterious here is that Colorado, in uh, this uh, uh, map, is still a toss-up. I definitely think that it, both Colorado and Arizona are likely uh, seats for the Democrats. And uh, while I think that uh, the Democrats have really increased their chances in several other states. I think that Iowa and Georgia are still going to go to the GOP with uh, Maine and North Carolina still being the big toss-ups. But to be honest, uh, we'll talk more about the Senate races after Biden has chosen his VP and we've seen the Kansas uh, primary because uh, right now I'm not ready to make a new projection on how the Senate races are going to unfold. Anyway, uh, that's it from me today. Please like this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you soon.